Are you coming in? Come on in. Come on, we have the AC running. Hey friends, it's me. I am sweating. It's so hot. We don't have central air conditioning in my house, so uh, it's 94 degrees outside and I'm melting. So today I'm going to talk about a question that I get asked all the time, pretty much on every single video. There's at least one or two or three or several comments about people asking if Siberian Huskies can handle hot weather. So it's really hot today. Uh, summer is pretty much here for us. We're pretty lucky in the fact that we live in an area that gets all sorts of weather, so we'll have a lot of snow and a lot of rain and a lot of heat. And the dogs definitely react differently to all different sorts of weather. I can't say for sure what it's like to live in a hot slash tropical climate for the entire year. I only know what it's like for it to be this hot, maybe like three months out of the year, but I can tell you what it's like for us when the weather is like this. So I'm walking the dogs right now, it's their evening walk, and my phone says it's 94 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about like 34.4444 something degrees Celsius, and they're clearly walking a lot slower than they normally would. Normally they're insane and crazy. So they're basically just gonna like do their business and go back inside because this is pretty much all they can handle at this temperature. And it's like even really hot for me. So Phoenix, you can tell, is like kind of dragging a bit. Pretty much when we go to the dog park and it's this hot, the girls are tired and wanna go home in like 10 minutes. In the winter time, they could be there for hours. There have been times when it's snowing and we just, it's getting dark and we can't get them to come back to the car because they're just having that great of a time and they feel so good. But in the summer, when the temperature is over like 80 degrees Fahrenheit, Phoenix will be out there for 10 minutes and then she's back at the water bowl and just sitting underneath a tree or something and she just wants to go home. So they can't really handle heat like that for a very long period of time, at least not my dog. The other thing that we have to be careful about is their feet. It's always good to be careful and to protect your dog's feet when it's this hot outside, especially on things like blacktop. If you think about it, if you sit down on like your driveway or somewhere with asphalt or the road or something, and it's like really, really hot weather outside, you will burn your bottom. Also really important is to make sure that your husky is groomed so whatever extra undercoat that they're shedding at this time, because this is the time when they normally shed a lot of it when it starts to get warmer and they don't really need it that much. Just make sure that you get that off of them because it kind of allows the air to go through the guard hairs and get to their skin and cool them down a bit. It's like having a winter coat on in the summer. Maybe if you could take it down a notch to just like a windbreaker, you'd probably feel a little bit better. Also super important is to make sure that they are hydrated. If you're gonna take your dog out on a walk um, or a hike or something in this weather, and I don't suggest that you do because it's a little too hot, you have to make sure that they have enough water. Something to help them cool down also would be like a pool. We have a little kitty pool. I've seen some people on the internet like fill their pool with ice. We haven't tried that with our dogs. Maybe we'll do it at some point this summer. But just something to let them cool down. But honestly, the best way to do it is air conditioning. Right now in our house, we don't have central air conditioning, so it's not controlled by a thermostat. We actually have to put units in the windows, etc. And the room that the dogs stay in mostly during the day can get pretty hot, right where the dog corner is. So we actually put an air conditioner in the window right next to where their crates are so that they could just be hanging out in nice cool air all day long. Something else weird to know is that, and it depends on the dog, if we take the girls outside, Falcon will want to come in like immediately. She's like, air conditioning, all for me. I'd rather hang out with you guys inside. I don't want to be outside. But Phoenix will actually sometimes lay in the sun. I don't know why, just like soaking up the heat. You can feel it like on her top coat that it's so hot. She just chill there for like several minutes. We've had to ask her to come inside. I don't know if it's like 
Maybe it's relaxing. Maybe it's kind of like being in a sauna. I'm not sure. I do know though that the guard hairs on their bodies actually help protect them from the sun as well as like water and all that stuff so that they don't get sunburn on their skin. Not sure I would condone it for a very long period of time. We've definitely had to go out there and tell her like, hey, get inside. I've had to bribe her with like treats and stuff to just get her inside in the air conditioning. But she definitely sees the benefit as soon as she gets inside. So maybe she's just being stubborn. Phoenix, let's go inside. You want a treat? Come on, I'm letting the cool air out. Let's go. Let's go. Good job. Come on in, all the way in. All the way in. Thank you. So the verdict is huskies probably can survive in warm climates, but it's really important that you have somewhere where the dog can get some sort of relief from the temperature, a pool, water, Air conditioning is most ideal, and I don't think I would exercise my husky too much in temperatures like this, because honestly, they just really don't want to do it. At least my dogs in this weather just want to lay around, like, splayed out all day long. Let me know in the comments section below if you live in a warm climate and you have a Siberian Husky, how do you guys deal? Do you have air conditioning? Do you fill a baby pool with ice cubes? What do you do? Let us know. I think it'd be really interesting for other people who are looking to adopt Siberian Huskies in warmer climates to see if it's like something that could be for them. Also, I'm looking for more suggestions on how you guys keep your dogs cool in this kind of weather. Maybe it'll be something we do in the future this summer. Hey, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Huh? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can click on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to see more dog stuff, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for this is a slow. Alright, it's been real. See